70 percent of San Diegans are demanding that banks be held accountable for bank blighted foreclosures. The students who outreach to community and document bank blight are members of a compassionate squad known as the Property Value Protection Ordinance Unit. This is their story. In the streets from that one that has boarded up, windows with wood, and it looks kind of unkept. There was a notice in the front um, saying that there was a company that was maintaining this house. A lot of old magazines thrown on the floor. Uh, more than anything, a lot of broken glass. It's, um, I think it's too much, you know, for kids to be playing around this area. It's not very safe. In my point of view, it looks like actually someone tried to open the window through here. Uh, I'm not sure what their standards of maintenance are. This is what happens when families get thrown out, you know. The houses aren't really taken care of. Property Value Protection Ordinance. We can send you the information. It will actually be sent out on Monday. Can I please get your email? Hi, this is John Teben. My name is Christian. I'm calling from the Center of Policy Initiatives. Around the country, there's some examples of the first glance of what I was able to pull together uh, within the last. But explaining the ordinance, I, I felt like we like we knew a lot more about the ordinance than I, I felt like I thought I knew. So it's really like helpful, all the trainings and stuff. And it was exciting to actually get people to, to come on board, people who have never even heard about the ordinance. When you have a foreclosure home, there is, it attracts criminals right away. Yeah. Person or family stops paying for like, let's say a month, and then they get behind, um, and the bank just refuses to have communication with them. Like, it seems almost like if they're waiting for them to fail. It's okay, like your failure represents my profit. Yeah.